right, so we're going to continue solving inequality problems. Now we have two-step inequalities. So we first started with doing the additive property, then we started with the um, multiplicative property. Now we're going to put both of those properties together, so we're going to do both at the same time. Um, so remember when we're doing multiplication division, we have to apply this special property when we're multiplying or dividing, multiplying, or dividing by a negative number, we have to remember it's the opposite of. And so this is going to apply to the inequality sign as well as the number being multiplied or divided. So in other words, when we multiply, multiply or divide by a negative number, we will flip the, um, the sign of the number and we're going to flip the inequality sign. So I know this was exactly what we put on the last video, but it's very important to remember. It's one of the bigger things that I feel is forgotten a lot when we're working with inequalities is to simply forget to flip that inequality sign. All right, so just like any other equation when we were solving, we're gonna do the same steps. We're gonna look for what's being added or subtracted first um, on the same side as the variable. So I have 3x minus 13 is greater than 35. So 13 is being subtracted. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 13 on both sides. And we're going to have 3x negative 13 plus 13 cancels out. Any number minus itself is 0. 35 plus 13, we get 8 and 4. So 48. And now I'm multiplying by 3, so I'm going to do the opposite, which is divide. 3 divided by 3 cancels out, so I have x is greater than, that does not flip over because it's I'm dividing by a positive number. It's only negative numbers that flip that sign and only if we're multiplying or dividing, not subtracting. So 48 divided by 3, let's see, it goes in one time, so I can actually write this off to the side so you can see me do it. So it goes in once here, 8 drops down, we have 1, 13 goes in 18 six times, so we get x has to be greater than 16. Um, all right, so on the next one here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at what's being added or subtracted on the same side as the variable. Be careful about this one. Negative 2 is not being subtracted. It's being multiplied by w. What's being added is this positive 7. Okay, so we're going to undo the positive 7 by subtracting negative 5 minus 7. This does not qualify flipping. This is subtracting 7, not dividing or multiplying. Um, and this is negative 5, and then I'm going to go 7 more negative. So that's negative 12 is greater than or equal to 7 minus 7 cancels, negative 2w. So now I'm multiplying by negative 2. I do want to divide by negative 2. This is where the sign flipping comes in because it's negative 12 divided by negative 2. That's positive 6. I'm divided by a negative number, so instead of it being greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to. And then negative 2 divided by negative 2 cancels. Any number divided by itself is 1. Um, and then the one thing I'm a little picky about is flipping so that it's variable and then number. And you want to make sure that this sign follows. So if I have my little Pac-Man guy that I like to draw, he's looking or going to eat the W. So we still want them to be kind of in the same direction here when we draw that inequality sign. So we want them to be in that direction. So either one of these is correct. I think Alex would take it either way there. Um, I'm just very picky. I like to be variable inequality sign number because that makes it much easier to graph when we get to that point. All right, now we're going to do a fractional coefficient. Um, so first, we're going to deal with the 3 that's being added on the same side as the variable. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. 1 minus 3, so we can think of it as 3 minus 1, which is 2, and I have more negatives than positives, so it's going to be negative 2, is less than or equal to 3 minus 3 cancels. It's going to be negative 2 sevenths x. Whenever I'm multiplying by a fraction on one side, to undo that fraction, I multiply by its reciprocal, like this. So I just flip it over. I'm going to multiply by negative 7 over 2. And on this side, so I have negative 7 times negative 2. That gives me negative 14 over 2. Um, it's not going to be less than or equal to because I'm multiplying by a negative number, so it's going to be greater than or equal to. And then 
negative 2 divided by negative 2 cancels, 7 divided by 7 cancels, so all I have is x on this side. I do want to reduce this. Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. Um, and then, what? again, I like to switch the order so that it's variable inequality sign number. And you just want to make sure that as you flip this around, this is still open to the same or pointing, whichever it's pointing at the x or it's open to the negative 7. So it's open to the negative 7, it's pointing at the x. I just flipped it around. Um, all right. So this last one, we're just going to do multiple steps on this one. So the first thing we want to do is distribute this 5, this negative 5. So we have 8y minus 31 is greater than negative 10, because negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Negative 5 times negative 3y is positive 15y. So now I want to bring the variables all to one side. So I'm going to subtract y from both sides, 8y from both sides, sorry, I said y, 8y. So 8y minus 8y cancels out, and it's negative 31 is greater than negative 10 plus 7y. So now the y's are all on the right side, and I want to start solving it just like I did any of these other equations. So I'm going to add that 10 to both sides. Negative 31 plus 10, so I can think of it as 31 minus 10, which is 21. I have more negative than positive, so it's going to be negative 21 is greater than negative 10 plus 10 cancels out, 7y, and then I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides because 7 divided by 7 cancels out, so I have negative 3, negative 21 divided by 3, 7 is 3, is greater than y, and then I flip this so the um, order is variable inequality sign number. And again, it's open to the 3, it's pointing at the y, open to the 3, pointing at the y. However, that kind of makes more sense to you. So that was solving a two-step, or solving two-step linear equations, not just A, um, with quite a few different situations, whole numbers. Um, problem type 2, what else calls that? Fractional coefficients, and then with distribution as well. So go ahead and go on, Alex, and give that a try.